You're editing your film, but you're not the only person working on it. How do you make sure everyone gets all the changes? You number your versions. You don't have to follow this naming structure, but come up with something that works for you and helps keep you organized. Start with one, then increase the number whenever there are major edits. How many did you see? 14,605. You can add a decimal for any smaller changes you may have and increase the decimal from there. For our film, once we reached a version of the film where we were no longer making major edits, we would increase the version number whenever we would marry the sequences or bring them together into one project. Marriage. Marriage is what brings us together today. Whenever we'd make bigger changes to the sequences between the marriages, we would increase the decimal number for any further changes. Following that, for any changes to the individual sequences we had, we added another decimal and number. For example, this clip is an export of the sequence 43, which contains scenes 156 to 158. This export is the 15th version of the film, with the third series of changes within that version, and the second version of this sequence. Another time we moved to the next version number was when we had a huge problem with our project files. Say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. We were on version 17. We had to go back to older project files to find versions that weren't messed up. Shit, it's main bus A. Main bus A undervolt. Houston, we have a main bus A undervolt now, too. Uh... We moved on to version 18. That way, if we see anything labeled version 17, we know it's a bad copy. For this reason, I suggest saving a new copy of your project when you move on to the next version, or exporting an XML or a project file. This keeps a version of your project that you can go back to in case anything goes wrong. Alright, where is the Houston? Uh, you have a flight plan up there? Uh, affirmative, Andy. Uh, Jack's got one right here. This will also help make sure that your composer, your sound design and foley artist, or any other outside people you have working on your film have the most up-to-date versions. Skip to the end. As you get closer to the end of your editing process, you may want to bring some of your sequences together to help even out the music or the sounds between them. Just make sure when you do that, you move on to the next version of your film. Keeping your version organized will help keep you up to date and help you get your film done as quickly as possible.